Hey guys, I woke up this morning, decided I needed to sketch some polynomial functions. I hope you did too. We need to be able to sketch functions that are already factored. Now, I don't know what kind of nomial this is. It looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's an x to the seven. I think it's called a haptic equation. Doesn't matter to me, really. What I need is for you to be able to sketch them. Now, it's already factored. If it wasn't factored, you'd probably have to do long division or synthetic division or however it is that you simplify polynomials, but whatever. What I want to point out is that this x minus 2 term means that you have an x-intercept at positive 2. This means you have an x-intercept at negative 1. This is an x-intercept at negative 7. And a bare x in the front or the back, or anywhere really, is an x-intercept of 0. Don't forget about that one. It's the one that's most commonly forgotten. So I'm going to intercept my x-axis somewhere at 2 and then negative 1, and also negative 7, and then also 0. Now, what's particularly important and intriguing to me is that some of them are squared, some of them are cubed, and some of them have no exponent. The exponent on each term tells you what type of x-intercept it is. If it is squared, it's going to intercept the x-axis as a bounce. It will either bounce off upward or bounce off downward if it came from below. An x to the 3 intercept is going to look like it's starting to bounce, but then it's going to emerge from the other side. This should remind you of the equation y equals x cubed anyways. And if there's no exponent, it'll just pass straight through the x-intercept with no fanfare whatsoever. Now, the only other thing I want to point out here is that my leading coefficient, I mean, will be positive. There's no negatives uh, in front of any of the x's here. So it is a heptic or degree 7 polynomial with a positive leading coefficient. That means it'll go down to the left and up to the right. I put those arrows just a little bit to the left of my leftmost x-intercept and a little bit to the right of the rightmost x-intercept. So here we go. I have to go through the x-axis here at negative 7. That is cubed. So I want to look like I'm about to bounce. It's supposed to look like half a parabola almost. But then I'm going to emerge out the other side and come back upward. It's not directly through. You're slowing down as you approach and then you take off again. Okay, I'm gonna have to top out somewhere and then come back through the x-axis at negative one. Negative one has no exponent, or rather the exponent's one, so it will simply be going straight through. We'll have to cut back through the x-axis at zero, the exponent is one, so it cuts straight through as well. And then we have to cut through the x-intercept or the x-axis again at the final x-intercept of 2. And it's squared, so it's supposed to look like this. It's supposed to be looking like a parabola and bouncing off the x-axis. And then to my arrow. Ah, look at this. I'm done. This is a beautiful polynomial function. It has some turning points. Uh, one, two, three, four turning points, it looks like points in opposite directions like an odd degree polynomial should. And I have my four x-intercepts, one, two, three, four, with the proper geometry at each one. Straight through if the exponent's one, bounce if the exponent's two, approach and then run away if the exponent's three. Sketch your own, kids. Best of luck.